Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C square. In this example we will talk about finding the derivative of this function f of x equals 1 over x squared minus 2 everything to the second power at x equals negative 1. For that reason I'm going to use what is called the chain rule that you see down here. f prime of x in this case will be the derivative with respect of x of this function f of x 1 over x squared minus 2 to the second power. And as I said, I'm going to use the chain rule, but first of all, let's do something else for, about this function f of x. I'm going to change it in x squared minus 2 to the negative 2 power. I use the laws of exponents and I change in a negative exponent. So that allows me to uh, use the power rule here and I'm gonna take that negative to the, this power and move it up front. And then I have x squared minus two to the power of negative two minus one, which is negative three. You can move directly to the negative three. And this is the power rule. And then by the chain rule, I'm gonna have the derivative with respect of x of the inside expression which is x squared minus 2. So let's see what we get here. We get this negative 2 and you notice I go back to uh, positive exponents and I'm going to have here x squared minus 2 to the positive third power times by the uh, expression 2x which is the derivative of x squared minus 2. So we can simplify here a little bit and we get negative 4x over x squared minus 2 to the third power and this is f prime of x. So yes, easy to simplify here and don't forget we have to do it at x equals negative 1. So we have f, or f prime of negative 1 and that will be negative 4 times negative 1 over negative 1 square minus 2 to the third power. And that will be positive 4 if we uh, simplify the double negatives and the uh, denominator in this case is going to be 1 minus 2 that is negative 1 to the third power negative 1. So the simplest form is negative 4. That is the value of derivative of f of x at negative 1. If you remember, this means the slope of the tangent line at x equals negative 1. You notice right here, the slope of this line is negative 4. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.